know you guys are so excited for Monday to be here. I know it deep in my bones. You may not realize it yet, how blessed you are to have another Monday, but you will. You'll catch up, it's okay. Probably just waking up, just saying, I don't know if I'm ready for Monday. But girl, you are. You're gonna kill it today, right along with me. I'm gonna kill some. <laughs> hey, Emily, hey, Kay, hi, Dawn. The gang's all here. Hey, Vicki, Melissa, Tina. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yay, happy Monday. I didn't get out of the pan. Why? Why, KJ? Because you're not prepared. Shocker. Emily, congratulations. That is amazing. 60 pounds. I'm hovering. I'm hovering right at like, I was 203, then I had 204, 205, 203, 205, 203, 205. And I'm at 205 today and it won't go down and I'm full. No, it'll be okay. It'll go down. But I can't say I'm not getting a little irritated. Our twins, Sam and Joe, 16 years old. Sweet 16. Do boys have sweet 16s or is that a girl thing? I assume Sam is a boy or is Sam Samantha and Joe? <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Melissa. Happy birthday to Sam and Joe. 16. That feels like ugh, a long time ago. Holy cow. All right. So what should I do first? I should, it's my youngest birthday. He's 22. Well, happy birthday to him too. Everybody's having birthdays today. May birthdays. I, um, you guys, I have to take a second to say thank you for the gifts, <laughs> you guys. I am forever getting a package in the mail, and I, you guys are just blessing me beyond belief, and I, listen, I like getting a gift. When a, something comes in the mail, I about lose my mind to open it. I barely get back into my car or back into my house, whether I'm getting it here or at my PO box. I, I'm ripping into it. My husband's like, why don't you wait and open all of these on camera? I'm like, I can't wait. I have to know what's in it. I, honest to Pete, I have it ripped open before I even get in the house because I cannot wait to see what's in it. So I want to show you a few of the things I've gotten over the past few days. <laughs> okay, so I got this shirt from Sherry that says, always hot and spicy. <laughs> Which I just find absolutely hysterical. Always hot and spicy. <sighs> and I got these earrings from her too. And are they not the best things you've ever seen? I put them in the second I woke up. I'm like, where's my pepper earrings? Those are the bomb. I absolutely love these earrings. I have gotten, so she also sent me a bunch of Cholula little mini packets and I put a whole bunch in my purse so that no matter where I go, I'm gonna have my Cholula. <laughs> and she sent me this, which we're gonna cook this morning. Hot and spicy spam. It matches my shirt and my earrings. <laughs> I got this from Janet Spruce. So Janet Spruce, seriously, I have used this a hundred times. <laughs> oh, my husband says, you need to pile these things up and once a week or once a month or whatever, open all the gifts live. I'm like, I don't think I can wait that long. I don't know that I can handle it. So maybe I should do that. Maybe I should start piling things up and then I'll open them once a week or once a month live so you all can share my joy. <laughs> she, Janet Bruce sent me this little thing for my stevia. It has a little hole in the top and I pull out my little donkey donk 
and it scrapes the top so it's even and it comes out easy instead of all being jammed in there you know how it gets jammed in in the bag and you have to really you have to hit it to get it out but look is that not I absolutely this is the most awesome tool in my kitchen right now like I can't even get over how useful a little jar with a hole in it is like <laughs> it's amazing I absolutely love it um, and then what Cindy Wetzel <laughs> That girl doesn't just make my grocery list for me. She sends me groceries when I run out. I got a box the other day from Walmart and I'm like, did I order this? I, did I order this in my sleep? It had a huge jar of coconut oil. It had two big bags of um, organic oats. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh my gosh. And what, oh, and it had this... Um, Tazo vanilla caramel chai tea that's on my stove right there. Go get the vanilla caramel chai tea. Oh my word. Yes, listen. You guys all need to message Janet Bruce and buy one of these from her. I don't know if she's selling them, but she can tell you where to get them. They, it is the best, isn't it? It fit a whole bag of stevia. It's perfect. Yes, Cindy Wetzel is a gem. She also sent Marin a gift the other day. And let me tell you, Marin was all teary-eyed when she saw there was mail for her. She's because she's always like, you get all the mail. How come I know? I'm like, Marin, that's because it's the KJ show. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I open them with her. Don't worry. Sometimes, unless she's not with me. And then I rip it out before I even get to the house. But she sent Marin a whole bunch of these Bible story bracelets, the bracelets that have like the colors, the yellow and the green and the white, the, you know, um, white for white as snow, the red for the blood of the lamb, all that, those, you know what I'm talking about? And she, but she made them and they're beautiful. And she sent Marin a whole bunch to give to people in her life, like waitresses or anybody that Marin feels might need one. I just thought that was the sweetest thing. So thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Bonnie, for my Ramsey mug, <laughs> which I am obsessed with. Okay, you guys, Bonnie, what, Bonnie, I almost called her Bonnie Wetzel. Bonnie Clapp sent me this mug. And listen, aren't we an adorable couple? Let's see. I actually screeched when I opened the box and pulled this out. I knew immediately. Well, I knew before I even opened it where it had come from because it said Kelly Jean York. And she always sends it. Instead of KJ York, she sends it to Kelly Jean York. And I'm like, this is from Bonnie. I can tell. And I opened that. And, I, of course, I get scared. I'm like, what did Bonnie send me? <laughs> I opened this up. That's right. I'm doing this today in my private um, coaching community group. If you're not part of that unofficial, the Joyful Life with KJ unofficial coaching community, go over there and get yourself in it. Cause I'm gonna post um, mug shot Mondays, and here's mine. <laughs> this is officially my favorite mug of all time. <laughs> and my husband is like, ah, oh, jeez. Gordon Ramsay. I can't stand that guy. He's a jerk. I'm like, he's not a jerk. He's only a jerk if you're an idiot sandwich. <laughs> if you try, he's not a jerk. <laughs> all right, guys. I got, so thank you all for the gifts. You guys are ridiculously sweet. I can't thank you enough. So I will start doing that. If you send me something, I'm and I don't respond right away, it's because I'm putting it in a pile and I will open it once a week or once a month or whatever, live on Facebook, okay? <laughs> I don't know, Vicky. Cause I like it, I like my mug. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make 
spicy spam and duck eggs just like dr seuss used to have duck eggs and spam i'm pretty sure that's what dr seuss talked about Ooh, it's, it smells right <laughs> Spicy Spam has got an extra special spammy spell. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never had anything but traditional Spam. Traditional in the sense of plain. So, do you guys remember if you've had Spam? <laughs> yes, Lisa. That's what needs to happen. Open live. If you've had spam, do you remember when it used to have the key? You, it used to have, it, it never came with a pop top. When I was a kid, it came with a key and you had to put it on the side and where you put it like this and you had to turn the key and it would peel the metal all the way around and then you'd pop the top off. And if you broke the metal or broke the key, you were screwed. <laughs> You were like, well, there goes that can of Spam. I can't get it open. So now they come with a convenient pop top. <laughs> There's my... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll be honest. <laughs> As much as I love Spam, it is the least appetizing smell when it's raw. And it's... <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut myself a few little slices. And I like it thin. Listen. <laughs> if you cut it thin when you fry it, it's even better. So I'm going to cut three thin slices. <laughs> Doesn't that look yummy? <laughs> you don't need any fat in the pan because, girl, it's got plenty in it. All right, I need a zucchini. I meant to get a zucchini out. Where are you at? I had another half of the zucchini stuck in a bag somewhere. Where is it? Right there. I'm gonna cook up some should have done that before I popped that ham out of the can. <laughs> okay, valid point, Lisa. <laughs> it's not exactly raw. Oh, Sarah, it's so good. I love, yeah, Spam is awesome. I like Spam with pickles and mayo. It's delicious. You see my THM glass back there? <laughs> I brought it with me yesterday to a ball game. Five o'clock last night, 5.30 last night, I was drinking a shrinker. I got it sucked all the way down and went, crap, that's oolong. I shouldn't be drinking that before bed this late at night, you know, but I did okay. I fell asleep anyway. <sighs> Listen, after I did treadmill devotions today, you guys, I did something. I got, I stayed on the treadmill after I hung up from you guys. And I thought, you know what? That walk was only eight minutes. I bet I have enough energy in me to run. Yes, I am peeling a zucchini. I don't like zucchini skin. It's too bitter, Lisa. It's too bitter. Listen, it's too close to a cucumber to not peel it. Nope, not eating it. So yes, I am peeling it. Um, so anyway, I stayed on the treadmill and decided to see if I was capable of running in jeans. Because I have tried to run before. I tried to do that couch to 5K or 5K, what is it? Yeah, couch to 5K a bunch of times. And I got absolutely nowhere. I, I did 15 seconds. It was gasping for air. And that was the most I'd ever done. Are you serious? You've never known people to peel a zucchini. Are there nutrients? I'm sure there are nutrients in the skin, but they're not ones that I need. <laughs> I don't like it. You guys, don't peel your zucchini if you don't want to. <laughs> it's your breakfast. Do what you want. This is mine. So I'll peel my zucchini. 
if I want to. Lisa. <laughs> and I cut it really thin too. Anyway, I ran this morning and guess what? I ran for an entire one minute and 30 seconds without dying. I know that is not very long. To anyone who runs, that is no big deal. You're like a minute and 30 seconds. Listen, girl, a minute and 30 seconds might as well be 10 miles to this mama. Okay, 90 seconds is a long time when you're KJ. It's also a long time when you have boobs the size of mine and a bra that does not work well for running. You're like, oh, 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 concussion and smacked in the face. That's the only reason I had to stop because my boobs were smacking my chin. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. <laughs> Same here, Kathy. That's the running that I do. My mouth. <laughs> But I got 90 seconds running, and I think that is a huge win. It is for me, trust me. I'm trying to get up my stamina a little bit because me and the girl, once we get the okay from the physical therapist, are gonna start doing some weight training. We're gonna go to the gym. We're signing up for the old gym, and we are going to weight train, Miss Marin and I going to be interesting she didn't want to do it until I promised to order her a workout outfit and then she did she's like okay if I can get the pink workout clothes and I can wear it with like leggings and like a short top some my belly shows like then I'll do it I'm like oh geez all right modest but she still wants to wear workout clothes that look like people on TV so I ordered her something that was semi as modest as I could get and still get her approval all right will I be live what at the gym Sherry absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> all right I'm gonna cook up my zucchini I should have been doing this a few minutes ago, but again, run in my face as usual. Can you imagine me going to the gym and getting live? I don't think they would appreciate it, the other people there. We're going to Planet Fitness though, because I'll fit in over there. We're not going to like, there's a really nice gym here in town that I would like to go to, but Every time I see pictures, <sighs> truly so, I'll probably be dead, too dead to be live. Um, every time I see pictures of this other gym that I wanna go to, it's full of like major muscle heads. <laughs> I would be extremely intimidated. So I'm gonna go over to Planet Fitness with the no judgment zone. If I was about to get mugged in an alley, I'd just stand there and say no point trying to run, have at it. That's absolutely what I would do, Kathy. I would do the same thing. I'd be like, take what you want. You can have anything that's not connected to my body. If you've been looking for anything that's connected, well, I'm gonna kick your butt. Then we're gonna go. <laughs> right, I mean, my Sarah always said, my best friend there always said, all she has to be able to do is outrun me in a bad situation. That's why she runs. She just needs to be able to outrun me. I used to go to Planet Fitness and really enjoyed it. But two of our boys work at UFIT. I've never heard of UFIT. I, um, I went there a long time ago. But then when I got pregnant with Marin, so long time ago, when I got pregnant, I went in and I canceled my membership because I wasn't, I just didn't feel good. The first five months of my pregnancy, I was puking and so I canceled the membership because we were also trying to save I had no um, time off saved to be able to take maternity leave so we were trying to save every penny we could so I could take maternity leave unpaid 
and I went in to cancel and the woman behind the desk goes, you're gonna be one of those lazy moms, aren't you? Just like that. <laughs> and I was like, oh heck no. You know what? I bet it's the physical therapist. All right, that's all right. Are you still live? Yeah, you're still there. I lost, I lo but I lost you over here on my computer. Let's, I can't figure it out now. Hold on. Am I still there? <laughs> I can't tell. I did, Lisa. I did make it out of bed. I did, okay, I am back. All right, hopefully whoever was will just leave me a voicemail. It's got to be my physical therapist. Maren's physical therapist. All right, I'm going to put some Creole on my zucchini. I like to cook it. Oh, well, we're using those two duck eggs because I just dropped them. Now I know which two to use. So here's my beautiful duck eggs that I just busted. They're huge. Look at those babies. That one's a little bit smaller. But I've got a whole, these were expensive. It was uh, $10 for a dozen duck eggs. And after I posted it, a girl I work with said, girl, if you want duck eggs, if you end up liking those duck eggs, you let me know because I have all you could ever want because I have so many duck eggs, we can't even use them all. So I'm gonna have free duck eggs if I like these, so I pray that I do. They just smell like duck's butt, that's all. There's one in here that's kind of bluish. Can you, look at the size of that egg. Look at that thing. It's got like a blue color to it. That thing is huge. Look at it, even compared to this small duck egg. Look how big it is. I can't get it. Can't get over it. But I feel like their shells are more fragile than chicken eggs. I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't pass it up, Melissa. I thought, I know it's 10 bucks, but it's a one-time thing, probably. I'm not gonna buy them, or not one time, but it was at the farmer's market. I thought, I'm gonna try it because I really wanna try duck eggs. I could have gotten a half dozen, but then I panicked when he said, I own, the sign only said a dozen, and then he said, did you want a dozen or a half dozen? But I had already said a dozen, and I saw the sign said a dozen, and I panicked because I get really, really, really nervous at the farmer's market super nervous so i just said i'll take a dozen it's so stupid i i walk up and i think god please let them have something at this booth that i can buy because if i have to look and walk away i'm going to feel so weird this is why i don't like to go to yard sales because i'm so afraid like i have to buy something if i'm going to a yard sale even if it's a quarter for a shirt i don't want that i'll just throw away because I cannot, it's so stupid. So I, I, I look, or, or I send Marin, and I'll be like, go over there and see if they have any lettuce. And I'll just stand over here. At no, cool. And if she comes back and says no lettuce, then I walk on. But if she says, they got lettuce, mom. I'm like, okay, I'm going over to them. I'm gonna go buy their lettuce. <sighs> Yesterday, there was a loaf of sourdough and it didn't say starter on the ingredients, it said yeast. And I was like, <gasps> and the guy saw me lifting the label and I was like, oh God, he's gonna ask me a question and I'm gonna have to buy his sourdough. So I said, um, is your sourdough made with a starter? And he goes, oh yeah, yeah, it's traditional sourdough. I just add yeast to get a little extra rise, but it, it's it's a very old starter that we've had for years. So it's traditional sourdough. I'm like, Phew. thank God, I'll take this $7 loaf of sourdough. Thank you. Whew. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I'm like that, but I am. All right. I'm gonna stick some nooch on there. This is 
my favorite part of zucchini is a whole bunch of nutritional yeast. It's so good. It gets sticky and yummy and delicious. I don't know Tracy why I am the way that I am I get I just get so nervous I feel like oh my gosh that stand only has three bunches of rhubarb left and they sold everything else out and if I don't take that rhubarb they're gonna have to go home with it and they'll remember that that girl walked by and didn't buy their rhubarb and they'll be laying in bed thinking to me I wonder why she didn't want my rhubarb if only she had gotten my rhubarb, I would have sold out and I wouldn't have had to come home with this sad piece of rhubarb. And so that's what I worry about. So I buy the rhubarb and then I come home and I'm like, crap, I don't even like rhubarb. <laughs> See, Lisa, this is a, I don't, I hope it's bigger in the summer. I've only been a few times, um, but I, this one had like, had one, two, seven booths, um, and almost, they were sold out of a lot by the time we got there. It opened at 11, we got there at 12, and it was all already almost sold out, but the later in the season it goes, the, it'll be a lot more vendors, and I'll be going a lot, but I just, yeah, anyway, they, they had a crepe mobile a lady making crepes and she had they were not on plan Marin wanted one so bad but I wouldn't let her because the wait was 45 minutes I ain't waiting no 45 minutes for a crepe all right I'm gonna stick my spam in the hot pan it's not hot enough because I don't hear the sizzle and I'm just gonna scramble these is there a special way I should make duck eggs or scramble them like a regular old egg that's what I'm just gonna do Ooh. Susan. That's exactly right, Lisa. I'm laying in bed thinking, I wonder if they sold that rhubarb. I hope he sold that $4 bunch of gross rhubarb. Oh, that Chipotle style chicken burrito bowls. That sounds absolutely delicious. scramble them next to my spam because I'm afraid they'll get on my spam listen I know I'm weird you guys I know I have weird needs but I don't want them scrambled this too, I don't want them touching my spam so I gotta wait for my spam to get done this is why it takes me an hour to cook breakfast because I have weird needs I haven't gone for years. I forget about it, but I'm gonna be going because um, I decided, so I love Misfits, and but I'm gonna only get it once in a while because they've changed the way they do it. And the box is more expensive. It used to be $24, now it's 34. And some weeks they have plenty of what I want. And then other weeks, like this week, they didn't have the stuff that I wanted. They didn't have just, it was just stuff I didn't want. They had a lot of apples and I just didn't want it. So I decided not to get misfits this week. So I'm gonna try to go to the farmer's market in the summer. Do misfits more in the winter is my goal. It's my plan. Look at that crispy, crunchy spam. Yeah, girl. Get it. That is lookingbomb.com. What's a black stone griddle? Black beans, rotel, frozen sweet corn. That sounds good. Absolutely, Sarah. Support your local. Yeah, definitely. That's what, I want to do that too. 
calm down, spam. Don't be getting out of control over here. Oh boy, you guys. It's crispy. This is looking good. I think I'm gonna need more than that. I wish we had one all year. I don't think we have anything up here that grows in the winter. The only, most things that were up here this week were there was carrots, rhubarb, asparagus. Nobody even had gr greens. Like everybody was out of lettuce and there was one head of lettuce left. That one, they were all sold out. I don't know if they had them before I got there. Oh yeah, baby. All right. Duck eggs. Here goes nothing. Oh, the shell's a lot harder than. Holy crap, what a cracker! Look at the size of that yolk. Holy mother. What? I kind of want to scramble them. Holy crap, that yolk is huge. Can you even see it? Probably not, no, because, you know, I didn't bring the camera over like a fool. Holy cow, I cannot get over the size of that yolk. Smell like regular egg. I did the ugly scramble, you guys. So it's gonna be ugly. That's all right. I cannot get over the size of that yolk. That yolk was like <laughs> that big. I should have showed you, but I didn't. Sorry. Because, you know, I'm not very good at this cooking show stuff. I need my gel. Well, it's got a bit of a special smell to it. I'll say that. It smells a little different than a regular egg. I, this is the ugliest scramble I've ever made in my life. Oh, oh shoot. I can't believe that's only two eggs. Holy, I got egg all over the counter. Where's my nutritional yeast? Why did I put it back? I gotta have it for my eggs. All right, these things are enormous. I need a GoPro, I do. That's what I need as a GoPro camera. <laughs> Look at the size, that's only two eggs. Look how much egg that is. They do have a bit of a smell to them. A little bit of a, I don't know what the smell is. It smells like egg, but a little bit with it's got a little bit of a, I don't know, just a little bit of, it's not bad, it's just different. Gotta have my joke, my blue hill, my chaga in the morning and my allagash in the afternoon, or my endeavor, one or the other. Get that going. Should have had that done first, KJ. Genius. All right, I need some Cholula. This looks mighty fine. Mighty fine. Whew. My stomach's wicked wonky because I'm so hungry. I had a cheese stick and popcorn for supper. All right. Nutritional yeast, hot sauce. I'm scared to death. I am 100% terrified to take a bite of these eggs. It's not the spam that smells, no. Spam smells spammy and good. It's the eggs. I'm scared. They look like regular eggs. Mmm. Mmm. 
They're wicked creamy. And I didn't even put anything creamy in them. I'm a little freaked out that I'm eating a duck egg. I've got to be honest. I've got to get past the fact that I'm eating duck egg. I'm going to move beyond it. It's okay, KG, P KJ. People eat duck eggs all the time. It's okay. Why is it freaking me out so much to know that that's a duck egg? I don't know. That's right. It's full of omega-3s. It's full of vitamin B12. It's got 168% of the nutritional recommendation. I looked it up. I know it. It's true. No, Dawn. Big fat no. Never, no, not happening. That spam is spicy. Girl. Oh. They are not hitting. What is in that? Pork with ham. Pork with ham. I'm gonna let you think that one through. <sighs> My mouth is straight up on fire. They are not kidding with the spicy. Red pepper. That's all it says for peppers. That is spicy ham. It goes well with my t-shirt. It was good. Oh. <laughs> that is spicy. You're right, Susan. My zucchini looks mushy. It doesn't normally come out mushy when I cook it that way. But it tastes okay. All right. There it is. Those duck eggs are okay. They're very creamy. They don't have the same rubbery feeling that chicken eggs do when you scramble them like that. You know how if you just if you just drop your chicken eggs in a pan and scramble them up but you don't mix them first or you don't put water in them? Dog's trying to get out. What are you doing down there? If you just throw them in a pan and you fry them up with a spatula and you don't like scramble them first so they get kind of ugly, ugly scrambled eggs is what I call them. They taste kind of a little bit rubbery, just a little bit, not terrible. These are not, these are creamy. They're good and I like the spam, it is hot. It is spicy. All right, Ramsey, it's time for you and me to make out. My poor husband. I don't know. That, you <laughs> they have got some major red pepper in that spam. I like spicy. That stuff is hot. Well, good to know, Sarah. I will try that next time. Although I don't, it's very good like this. Right, exactly. I I often wonder that too, Tracy. Who was the first person that cracked an egg? I think I'll have vanilla cream in my coffee. I have not tried quail eggs, but yesterday at the Tiller and Rye, the local natural store, they had some quail eggs. They were like $7 for six but they were adorable. I just stirred that with my coconut oil fork and now I got coconut oil. I guess it's all right, you're gonna kill me, it's good for me. Oh, that, that spam is delicious, first of all. And spicy is all get out. I am shocked at how spicy that spam is. They are not kidding when they say spicy spam. And make a good spam salad. I'm gonna have to make spam salad in a wrap. But all right, that's it. I'm gonna be okay. I'm happy with the duck eggs. 
I gotta just move beyond the fact that it's a duck. I don't know why it freaks me out a little knowing that it's a duck. Why? I don't know. I don't know. No, Tony does not eat spam. Tony's weird. Oh, instead I'm putting hot coffee in there on a burning tongue. All right, guys, me and Gordon, we gotta go to work. Him and I, we gotta go to work and eat our breakfast. I know Gordon would be proud of my duck egg breakfast. I know he would. He'd call me a donkey for scrambling it that way, but it's okay. I'm okay. You can call me a donkey anytime you want, Gordon Ramsay. In case you're watching. I can imagine. Oh, gosh. Anyway. All right, you guys. I'm going to go eat my duck eggs. Hopefully, I don't start quacking. I gotta go look up and make sure it's okay. It's natural to eat a duck egg. Just kidding. Just kidding, Sarah. I like them. I'm happy. It went really good, Vicky. There was a big turnout, like 45, which is a big turnout for a lunch and learn. Um, it, w it went really, really well. It went really well. There was a lot of people that reached out to me after and wanted to know more about Trim Healthy Mama. So it was a good opportunity to spread the gospel of the THM. So, yeah. All right, guys. I do like them, Sarah. I'm going to continue to eat my duck eggs, especially now that I know I can get free ones. I'm going to get free ones. One question for you duck egg people, Sarah. If I'm baking and it calls for one egg, do I put... I did say it on camera, Lisa. I thought, you know what? I'm doing it. I wasn't supposed to, but I did it anyway. Um... If it calls for one egg, Sarah McNutt, do I put one duck egg? I mean, if it calls for two duck, if it calls for two eggs, do I put two duck eggs or just one? Cause they're so big. Or do you just do exactly what the recipe calls for and ignore the side, fact that it's humongous? Do you want a piece of duck egg? Do you want some duck egg? Say hello to the people. Bassie likes it. You get back to me on that, Sarah, and let me know. I think she's gone. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. You ignore the size. Okay, good to know. Just act like a regular egg. Never baked with them, but I would do one. What do you mean you never baked with them? You never used them in a regular recipe? You've only scrambled them? Or fried them or whatever? Good to know. And you just did the exact same measurements to Nat. I guess I'm gonna wing it. Everybody's got a different opinion. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm gonna go to work. What time is it, 7.20? I'm gonna go to work. I hope you all have a blessed Monday. Here we are again at Monday. There is no reason to go off plan on a Monday. It's Monday. What could possibly make you want to go off plan on a Monday? You show Monday who's boss. You're in charge of your food choices, not the other way around. That food is not in charge of you. You tell it who's boss. Stay on plan. If you need to be talked off the ledge, you call me. I will talk you off the ledge. I get too close to this camera. That'll be the freeze frame that goes on YouTube. Because that's what they always do. They pick the most, the best possible screenshot to be the still on Facebook and YouTube every time. All right. Enjoy. You don't need to go off plan just because it's their birthday, mama. It's their birthday. Let them eat cake. Not you. It's their birthday. You don't need it. You celebrate with health, mama. All right, guys. I love you all. Have a blessed day. I will talk to you later today, I'm sure. And for sure. Oh, oh, I will not be live tomorrow. I have a big go live. Sorry, guys. Tuesday is turning into my no video day. So I will not be online for Brecky tomorrow. So tomorrow you stay on plan. Just because I'm not here doesn't mean you can go off plan. If my go live gets over really soon.
I'll get on, but it's not gonna, it's a big one. So, all right, I love you all. Have a blessed day and I will see you soon.